In the Morning Business Report, a Wall Street Journal study found a link between states enhanced weekly jobless benefits and its unemployment rates. Channel 3's Jane King joins us live now in New York to break down what people need to know about this this morning. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Wendell Nicole. Good morning to you. So the number of jobless benefit recipients is falling at a faster rate in the states that have canceled the enhanced and extended payments. Uh, that to suggest ending the extra aid could push more people to take jobs. So this study comes from the Wall Street Journal. It found those extended benefits worsened the workforce issues that businesses are facing. The federal benefits are set to expire in early September, but states can opt out of them before then. Well, the Lego Group, one step closer to reaching its goal of making all of its products from sustainable material by 2030. So Lego said the plastic from discarded bottles makes up the first brick to meet the company's strict quality and safety requirements. It will be some time though before these bricks that are made from recycled material can be sold in stores the company continues to test and develop them. And Southwest Airlines plans to raise its minimum wage to $15 an hour to retain and attract employees as the aviation industry rebounds. More than 7,000 existing employees employees stand to benefit from this when it takes place on August 1st. Well, the S&P 500 climbed to another record on Friday. In fact, it was the best week for that index since February. Bank stocks led the way higher today, flat for the start of trading. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you.